This video is part of a series of videos presenting solutions to problems related to the machine dynamics topic. This video presents the solution to a problem, dealing with a compound gear train. In this problem, we are asked to determine the speed ratio of the following compound gear train knowing that the number of teeth in the first gear is 10. The number of teeth in the second gear is 20. The number of teeth in the third gear is 10. The number of teeth in the fourth gear is 15. The number of teeth in the fifth gear is 20. The number of teeth in the sixth gear is 10. The number of teeth in the seventh gear is 20. The speed ratio of this compound gear is given by the ratio, omega 7 over omega 1. Omega 7 is the speed of the output gear, or gear 7. Omega 1 is the speed of the input gear, or gear 1. To calculate the speed ratio, we need to expand the fraction to include the speeds of the intermediate gears. The gears 1 and 7 are not in contact. They are also not mounted on the same shaft. Thus, we do not have a direct relationship between the speeds of gears 1 and 7. To calculate the speed ratio we need then to introduce the speeds of the intermediate gears. For example, the speed ratio is kept unchanged if we divide by omega 6 and multiply by omega 6. Likewise, the speed ratio is kept unchanged, if we divide by omega 5 and multiply by omega 5. We divide by omega 4 and multiply by omega 4. We divide by omega 3 and multiply by omega 3. We divide by omega 2 and multiply by omega 2. Gears 6 and 7 are meshed together, thus, omega 7 over omega 6 is equal to, minus n6 over n7. The negative sign is used to show that gears 6 and 7 rotate in opposite directions. Gears 5 and 6 are mounted on the same shaft, thus, they have the same speed. Hence, omega 6 over omega 5, is equal to 1. Gears 4 and 5 are meshed together, thus, omega 5 over omega 4 is equal to, minus n4 over n5. Gears 3 and 4 are also meshed together, thus, omega 4 over omega 3 is equal to, minus n3 over n4. Gears 2 and 3 are mounted on the same shaft, thus, they have the same speed. Hence, omega 3 over omega 2, is equal to 1. Finally, gears 1 and 2 are meshed together, thus, omega 2 over omega 1 is equal to, minus n1 over n2. Now, let's consider the expression of the speed ratio, omega 7 over omega 1. We can substitute the ratios. Omega 7 over Omega 6. Omega 6 over Omega 5. Omega 5 over Omega 4. Omega 4 over Omega 3. Omega 3 over Omega 2. And, Omega 2 over Omega 1. By their expressions established below. Thus, the speed ratio Omega 7 over Omega 1, is equal to, minus N6 over N7 times 1 times minus n4 over n5 times minus n3 over n4 times 1 times minus n1 over n2 after some simplifications the speed ratio is equal to n6 n3 n1 divided by n7 n5 n2 the speed ratio is equal to the product of the number of teeth of the driver gears, 1, 3, and 6. Divided by the product of the number of teeth of the driven gears, 2, 5, and 7. Substituting the number of teeth of the gears. The speed ratio is equal to, 10 times 10 times 10, divided by, 20 times 20 times 20. Or the speed ratio is equal to, 1 over 8. Here, we made an animation using MATLAB. The speed ratio is 1 over 8. The input gear 1, is 8 times as fast as, the output gear 7. 
The input green gear 1 makes 8 revolutions while the output red gear 7 make 1 revolution. 